Happy Friday night, fellow comic book fans. Uh, this is the night that I review some comics from the previous Wednesday. What I'm going to do is one that I didn't like and the top three that I did. I'm going to do them separate uh, just so I can talk about each one individually. So... What did I like? What did I not like? Stay tuned. And here we go with the stuff that I enjoyed most this week. Number three would be Daphne Byrne. Number three. It is written by Laura Marks, drawn by Kelly Jones, and I think inked by Michelle Madsen. It is the Black Label imprint, or Black Label title, from the Hill House Collection. This is the story of a family whose father is dead. They're falling on financial hard times. Daphne, the titular character, is the daughter of the widow who is going through hard times because she's being bullied at school. She sees a ghost and the mother is going to see a bunch of uh, mediums for seances and being taken advantage of. So we've got this whole story going on. And it's set in England in the you know, late 1800s, early 1900s. Pretty good story. Because, uh, you know, you've got back in the day that, that was a really popular thing. The occult, you know, seeing seance, seeing uh, mediums doing seances to try and talk to people uh, you have uh, talked to the dead relatives and this is taken it from both sides because you've got the mother who believes that stuff you've got the daughter who has seen ghosts who has a uh, someone who is not entirely human that can read her thoughts who is granting her wishes, dealing with her bullies, appearing as her later on, who's saying, hey, your mother is not entirely there, but the mother is going to see people who are obviously conning her to claiming they're talking to somebody on the other side who they're not. And now, in this issue, you see they're intending to sacrifice her. This is a really good series. It's kind of hard to describe, but it is one of the two best Hill House comics. This and A Basket Full of Heads. If you haven't been getting it, go back, get the first three floppies, because this is number three. If you don't want to do that, wait to get the trade. But this is good. This is a 3.5 out of 5. You know, this guy is um, a son of Stephen King. He knows good stuff when he sees it. There are some butter stuff than not. This is one of the butter stuff. And uh, I'm really enjoying this. So, get it. Read it if you're into that type of stuff. 3.5 out of, out of 5. Let me know what you think about it. If you've read it. And if you haven't, why not? And uh, enjoy your comics. Enjoy your Friday night.